Hello there, I am Giant Quill with more Earthbound. In the last part, we took on Mondo Mole, which was our second Sanctuary boss. I forgot to show this, but if we go to the Soundstone again, press A of course, because it's multiple people now, because we have Paul in, in our party. Uh, Soundstone use, now stitch the Soundstone to his forehead and gathered his thoughts. Yeah, so the soundstone basically goes to the whole circle. I think that's clockwise, honestly. If it's going from 1, 2, 3, 4 instead of 12, 11, 10, 9, I'm pretty sure that's clockwise. So, um, I could correct myself in the text over right now, well, actually, if I'm wrong. Um, so yeah, you can listen to all this, um, sanctuary, uh, melodies all in a row, but you have to do listen to all of them to, if you like, listen, want to listen to the last one, you have to listen to all of them basically before you the last one, and then get to the last one. I think it goes in a circle. So, I'm pretty sure that's how it goes. Because it went from giant step to little footsteps, or whatever it was called. Um, other than that, I think we can get out of Happy Happy Town. So let's go back to the Peaceful Rest Valley and hopefully get back to Tucson. So that's what we're going to do in this part. Yeah. Okay. And it should be a lot easier because we already fought these enemies. And um, we also have Paul with us. We're also like at least maybe two or three levels um, higher from last time we were here. And Paul is also gained like five or six levels in my case. I think she's level 17 now, or maybe level 16. Let's bash them. <laughs> bash, bash. If I had a laser, one, okay, so they did one HP, so yeah. Ooh, and that's got a smash attack. SMASH! Yeah, it's awesome. Now, let's bash the little UFO. <laughs> one HP on hop -out. Yeah, so like, these guys are so easy now. Like, so easy. And it doesn't even take that long to get back. I'll show you why in a second. 260 experience each. Awesome. So yeah, if I check my status, or check their status. Ness is level 23 and Paul is level 17. Wow. Okay. So I was right if I did say 17. Oh my gosh. I'd rather face this than the the territorial oaks, you know, because those explode if you attack them. I always have to try to run away from those, just to avoid them. Wow, that was easy. Wow, two bashers, basically. 149 experience each. This is a good way to get experience if like your Paula is like say level 12 or 13 at the time if you didn't go back and like save. If you're not doing a let's play like me where you have to go back and save just to make sure you don't have failed recording and you don't have to redo a certain part of the game because you didn't save. Yeah, but um, yeah, there's that, that is my scenario I guess you could say. Oh man. Oh, uh, and that's caught a cold. Okay, I can use healing alpha after this battle. And then the spinning robo was destroyed. Yay. Nice. 149 experience each, okay. So let's see here. Looks like they're like looking in each other's eyes right now. Ness and Paula. Okay, let's use healing alpha on Ness to get to his cold. He got over his cold, I should say. And then, um, what else did I need to do? Oh, I want to check if it says. So, 2880 experience points, so he reaches level 24 in Ness. And then for Paula, it's only, well, 2000, it's only 2367 more experience until she reaches level 18. So that's pretty cool. But we need to get back to Tucson because I missed that present. Are you kidding me? I have to face the. I have to run away from the territorial oak now. Because that little explode, I'm just gonna run away. Tried to get away. And did. Cool, on the first try. Awesome. They go bye bye for now, at least. Those those enemies do, at least. Uh, there's a couple of love noodle, life noodles inside. Paul takes it. Um, yeah, because I think Ness is out of space. Yeah. Yeah, okay. So, yeah. Oh, uh, now another territorial oak. I wanna avoid. Oh my gosh. And another mobile sprout helps him out. Yeah. That rhymed. <laughs> Let's run away. But couldn't. Oh man. 15 HP. Okay. 1 HP on Paula. Okay. Good thing the territorial oak hit Ness and stuff. Not Paula. Because Paula would take heavy damage from that. Oh my god, Ness. Just stop. Okay, you made another mobile sprout up here. Cool. Okay, let's run away. I just need you to know, run away. I really wish I didn't run into these territorial oaks because they're territorial and they explode if you attack them. I, I said a million times before. So let's see, I'm gonna have to use, uh, I could have used cold remedy when I had a cold because I, instead of, okay, I could, that was stupid on me, honestly. I want to save my croissant though, but to make extra space, I'm gonna eat my croissant actually on it and give it to Ness. Or eat, Ness will eat his croissant. Yeah, they'd say maxed out. Okay, 200 HP, cool. Okay, so if, no, you stupid terror! I'm just gonna run away from you. I don't want to attack you, man. You're too dangerous, man. 
But well, couldn't, of course. 1 HP on Ness. Tertoyok's gonna hit Paula then. 15 HP. Oh man. That's like a big fra- That's like a ocean really fraction of her HP. So I wanna just try to run away from this thing. Okay, stats go down. Oh, I spot she's picking the magnet on Paula, I believe. Yes, okay. Run away, come on, we gotta run away. Go, 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 go. I wish you could like button mash to help your chance of running away, like in like Paper Mario 64. That'd be cool. And I think it does it for later part, make Paper Mario games too. No, 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 no. Okay, thank you. You stopped. Okay, I'm gonna get this butterfly because it'll actually restore Paula in Ness's um, PP. So that's cool. Okay. So actually, this bridge is like oh, this is actually one that's fixed before. Okay, so I have to go a little bit further actually. Okay, yeah, this bridge is actually fixed this time. Let's get this butterfly just in case. It always doesn't hurt to get another butterfly, even though we probably have max. Paul and Ness have max PP. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that 66 and 62. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Boo boo. Oops, I won't say that again. Say it again. I fixed the bridge as a sign of apology. I'm trying to help. Thanks, man. So this bridge is actually fixed. It was broken before the first time we came through here. So it's, we don't have to go all the way back around, which is really nice. It's really nice. Here's a mobile spell. I'll just fight it, I guess. You know, it's one mobile spell. I won't say multiplies by planting another mobile spell, you know? Okay, attack. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, man. Ness missed. And therefore, her, his PP has got reduced by four. Okay, good. Move on. Yeah, cool. Here's that mole thing again. <laughs> mole. Still reminds me of Vesetti. And we're out of here. Nice. Okay. Here's another mole of sprout, of course. And a rambling mushroom or something. Mo Wait, what is this? It's a Rambo and Evil Mushroom, okay. Let's take out the Mushroom first. Not the Mobile Sprout, dang it. Okay, good, because the Mobile Sprout, uh, the Mushroom just kind of died anyway. <laughs> yeah. Cool. Are you getting some experience? Cool. Nice, I like experience. So we're almost back to Tucson, it's just like this little uh, middle area that we have to go through. Let's read the sign. Oh, of course we have to check it. Happy Happy Village ahead? Okay. I don't want to go back there because I don't think we have to go back there. We may have to go back there later on, but I'm not sure. Again, I'm following a guide, so... I'm... Up to this point, it's really blind, except for I've been following videos on how to get to place to place. So actually, first we want to go to the post, post star, um preschool, which is Paula's home, and talk to her mom saying, Hey, I found Paula. Yeah, so let's talk to her mom, which is right over here. She has a long wavy hair, I guess you could say. Yahoo! <laughs> I have, I use Yahoo too, like in my email server, my email service. I use Yahoo.com. Okay, I knew it. You saved Paula. I don't really understand it, but I know that Paula's miraculous power and your great courage will allow you to stand up to any challenge. Cool. Paula, if you must take a trip, be sure to bring this along. It's my very own handmade band-aid. Ooh, that rhymes. I'll call it the hand-aid. I'll call it a hand-aid. Ness got the hand-aid. Do you mean, do you, did you mean dad? He is sorry that he suspected Mr. Everdread of Berglin Park. Um, no, Everdread's just like a leader of like thieves and all that. He's totally innocent in everything that he does. Totally. I said totally too many times in that sentence. Okay, so our goods, the, the hand-aid is actually really, um, handy, I guess you could say. Yeah, really, um, useful, I should say. And I don't know what it does, honestly, but it's good to have it, I guess. Oh, here's... Oh wait, oh Paula, this must be her dad. He walked right through me. Uh, and he walked through right through Ness, I should say. Ness, thank you so much. You must be the, the boy who will save the world, like in Paula's dream. Paula, I'm sure you're, you'd be a big help to Ness. It's not every day a father lets her daughter, lets his daughter, um, <laughs> I, must, I called her she, I called his, her dad a she basically there. Her daughter, dang I said again, his daughter embark on a journey to save the world. 
She's all shocked. Dad, don't worry about me. Ness and I will be able to take care of ourselves in, th in Thread, which I guess is foreshadowing the next city, where you, um, with the number in the name, basically. Um, the, in the next, the next town, we'll meet another friend. Oh, it's foreshadowing to meeting another party member. Nice. Another friend, I should say. But, yeah, of course, it's gonna be a party member if it's a friend that we're gonna meet at a two-number city. Okay, cool. Um, if the two of us can combine our power, no one can beat us. Now wipe your eyes, blow your nose, and smile before we take off. Okay, goodbye Paula, don't worry, I won't cry anymore. And he is like following us too. But if you talk to him again, you can make him stop following us. Um, okay. Goodbye Paula, don't worry, I'll, I won't cry anymore. And, she, and he stops following us. There's actually a glitch where you can get stuck in the wall and you have to reset your game. So I made sure that like, I talked to him again so he'd stop following us so that wouldn't happen, you know? So I don't have to restart this video or something, you know? From our safe point. Oh, who are you? He, he, did he walk? Okay, he walked through the flowers, not the bench. Okay, good. <laughs> Hello, Ness. Um, Everdread was looking for you. Everdread is looking for you. He's got something for you. He just runs off. I wish we could run that fast without Skip Sandwich. Am I right? So we have to go back to Berglund Park. Oh, if you also should mention, if you see enemies that are blue like this, that means they're under um, Guy Gas's mind control and they turn evil basically. But in battle mode, they're like perfectly um, p right skin tone, honestly. So that just tells um, if there's like an enemy you fight that turns evil against you and tries to attack you, basically. The um, something party man, the annoying old party man. There we go. Uh, Paul got smashed attack, I believe. Yeah, there we go. And we won, yay! We got 65 experience points each. Nice. Every experience point counts, really. Okay, so here we are back in Bargoland Park. So, Everdred's gotta be around here somewhere, right? If we go in his house, we should find him. Yeah, that's where we should go. My arm is sore for some reason, and I haven't even been using it really much today. Jeez. Okay, anyway, let's talk to Everdred. I was going to ask you to be my partner, but I know you'll refuse. It's written all over your face. Okay, yeah, it's like, I'm not gonna be a partner, sign Ness. All over Ness's face. Literally. Nice, okay. If you're accepted, I was going to give you some money. Actually, I can't keep the money now anyway. Let me give this to you. It's $10,000. Use the money any way you want, any way you like. You cannot refuse my generosity. Just accept it. Now, I plan to look for the evil many many statue that layer, the liar X aggregate, aggregate underneath in a, a net. I'm sure that I'll see you another time in another space. So, he's going after that many many statue that we actually um, saw right behind um, that one boss guy, which I forget the name of. But we had to face all those blue um, enemies first that, in the so-so evil suits that were taken under the mind control, and they were blue! Yeah, Paula got the water bills. Yeah, Paula got the water bills, because SNS can't get any more items. So yeah, I'm gonna probably sell my cold remedy, because I'm probably not- if I'm gonna get a cold- Oh, from an enemy, I'm, or Ness, if Ness is gonna get cold from an enemy, I might as well just use Hellwing, even though, like last time, I forgot to use the cold remedy when I had it in my waste PP. But yeah. So, I wanna go up to the department store real quick. And plus, I need, restore, plus, I need, um, withdraw some money too. So, let's see here, let's start at the ATM. Cool. Welcome to the yeah, okay, okay, cool. Withdrawal. Um, currently stands at 4,372. So let's withdraw like $200. That should be it. I think that's all we need here for. So let's go to, let's go to a place where I know where to go. <laughs> that, well, we're gonna basically visit Orange Kid. And yeah. Let's just do that. And you don't have to do this. I'm just gonna show it off. It costs $50, but you'll see what I mean in a second. It's way not worth that. I thought I was stuck there for a second, but I was just... Stuck in front of a bush, really. Dang it! Ah, shoot! We have to face. I was going the wrong way. Now we have to face all the two well, two wild rowdy dogs or something. Yeah, ra runaway dog. Sorry. And then a policeman. Let's just take out the dog first, even though I already selected it. Yeah, you know, policemen in this game are used supposed to be good, but this is under command control or the tame blue because of guy gas. Um, that's why they're attacking us, basically. There we go. We won, yay! 47 experience each, nice. So let's go actually to Apple Kid's house real quick before we run into any other enemies that will interrupt us. That's not good. I don't know what that clunk clunk means. I think it means that like my chickens are hatched or something or fully grown or I don't know. Up until this point, after like this part, it'll be completely blind really for me. So, although I'm using a guide as before to guide me if I'm stuck. 
Oh my gosh. You st Oh my gosh, where's Apple Kids House? This is where I want the town map, really, but I can probably figure it out on my own. I gotta do this by myself. I think it's up north more, but I'm gonna check south. Nope, of course not. South is, um, right here, I guess. Yeah, I'm gonna go up north again. I'm sorry, guys. Oh, it's right here. Yes, thank you, Orange Kid. Let's go into his house. Okay. Let's talk to him. You didn't invest any money in my venture, but someone else donated a few million bucks, so everything is great. So would you like to invest, say, 50 bucks? Sure, why not? Thank you very much. Your support has a tremendous impact on all of our mankind. Let me get you my new Super Orange Machine. I call it Super Suporma for short. Okay. So Sup, su Sup, Sup for um Super, o o Or for Orange, and then Ma for a Machine. Paul got the super move. Please use it for spreading peace and goodwill on Earth. Okay, so Paul has it. So let's go to her goods then. Um, if you use it, it'll say this: Use the super mama, the super mama sang the song "Ode to Orange Kid." As soon as it finished, the machine broke down. I didn't hear anything of a song, and it broke down. So like, it's gone forever basically. It's no longer than our inventory or in Paul's inventory. So yeah, we're, you can just waste 50 bucks basically, but I wanted to show that off just to, so in case you're curious so that you know if you're playing this game along with me for some odd chance. Oh, wait, Upkit's not here. Okay, so if you're um, playing along with me for some random chance, um, you, you'll know not to, not to waste 50 bucks on that guy because he'll just give you a machine that breaks the second you finish listening to a stupid song that you never even got to hear really. Jeez. So with that said, I'm gonna end the part right here, so let me go back to the apartment store first, because that's where the payphone is. Oh, I can go to the hotel, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the hotel, because that's actually free, I don't have to pay a dollar to use the phone. Okay. So yeah, if I can find my way here. Oh, great. So this has been on my, this has been on my Earthbound Let's Play part, and next part, we'll take on more of Tucson, and I've heard that there's a really good cutscene that's coming up, which is really very worth, um, you know, catching on tape or recorded. You know, keep recording it and all that good stuff. So this has been Jonko again. I would like to thank you again goodbye and hope to see you guys in the next part of my Earthbound Let's Play.